Okay, fellow wholehearted, in today's video, I am going to share with you a few keys how to be more happy without <laughs> substance or stuff, external stuff. All right, because you know, as human beings, we all want to be happy, right? Because when we're in that state, anything is possible. Feeling good is amazing. So why wouldn't we want to? And the other side of it, it isn't feeling so great. So with that, I want to dive into the four main keys that I wrote down specifically for you and I want to share with you because you came into my heart in, in this moment today and this is a very AM thing that I want to inspire to share with you. So number one, my friend, is to accept that happiness is an inside job. Now, I get it. Some of you may not agree with what I'm saying because as human nature, when we're not happy, we want the world to change outside of us, right? We want people to change. We want our situation to change. We want our external world to change for us to be happy. And because of that, we end up getting into that vicious trap. And how's that been working out for you so far? By, you know, you think that making a million dollars is going to make you happy. And you make a million dollars and you're like, what next? And then you chase for the next million dollar. Or you think that if I am dating this person, I'm going to be happy, then what? Or if I get this job, then what? reflect on that so we always expect the outside thing to be the determined factor to make us happy so in that way we give that control to external things even though inside we think we have control but the reality is happiness in is an inside job and it is a process and it's not easy it, it, it worked happiness it's just not something you're born with happiness is something that you cultivate you weave, you work on, you've learned how to be happy. You're not, you're not just born to be happy. Um, so that's number one. And then I wrote down number two here is to, hmm, let me see my notes. Acknowledge that the unhappy moments that you are, you are experiencing or have experiencing, they are not you. Now, some of us, <laughs> you know, we are dealt with life situation that worse than the other so we've been dealt with different kind of cards right and some is on the surface better than those some sucks and they all serve a purpose and all those unhappiness moments when we in it when we unhappy we in anxious state we in disheartened space we think we are that but really what happening is those are the feeling that you are experiencing as human and a lot of time, because we did, we don't know how to deal with it, so we suppress those feelings, we suppress those moments, we judge those moments, they stay there, and they close our heart down, and they take us further away from our truth and our happiness. So by understanding that, it gives you a perspective on what to do about it, which is take to key number three, is understand that this happiness moment is not you, so you get to, do, you, you get to decide what to do with these energy and and be able to surrender to it because our our instinct like i said right we want to suppress the feelings like pretend it's not there and as you know that it's come back and bite you in the ass anyway right or some of us go to look for external thing chasing success as a way of happiness some some people go to drugs some people go to alcohol some people, you know we have a different way of dealing with things some people overeating as an external way to help us temporarily feel better, but it's not really dealing with the real issues. The real issue is that you humans, shit happen and you feel shitty, but then if you don't deal with it, the shit stay there. So understand that the shit is not you, the shit is something that happened and your reaction to it is, is how determine your happiness, which is, and, and this part is to surrender to that and to let the shit go. You know, why would you want to collect the shit in your system? And that very thing is spread out in your system. And I, I believe is a big factor that hinder your happiness. And I wrote down here, you know, surrender to what it is. Relax. Let go through the discomfort. Because it's, it's extremely uncomfortable to sit with life. Especially in the situation that is not ideal for you. And in life, our human nature, and we want to avoid pain and we want to seek for pleasure. That's a very human thing to do. And the key is to understand not to attach to the pleasure and not to try to avoid pain because guess what? They all are part of life. 
they are going to happen and they all are impermanent. So the unhappiness that you are experiencing right now, guess what? It's only temporary. It's going to pass if you let it. And the happiness that you experience right now that you want to hold on and attach that you want to be happy together, guess what? It's probably, it will go away because that's just the nature of life. And, and if you can just understand that, accept that and acknowledging that and surrender to that. And, and one of the best thing you can do, one of the best thing you can do for your happiness is to allow yourself to temporarily go through the unhappiness moment by relax and let go. Because when you temporarily allow yourself to go through the unhappiness moment, you release them for good. So then you have more space for happiness. You have more space for joy. Imagine if you are in this body, right? This container, it can only contain so much space. But then if in your life, you're so busy of holding on to the anger, the disheartened moment, you know, all the disappointment we all go through in life and not, and it stay there. It's just taking space for some other thing, which is also possible, which is joy, excitement, celebration. We also have that too. So then we spend majority of our energy on the negative thing or try to avoiding it. So then we create unnecessary suffering. But if you actually are allowing yourself to just be with life that, you know what? That's amazing moment happens. So you celebrating for what it is and when it passed, it passed. And then you just be present in it. And when the pain, somebody punch you in the face, guess what? It's going to hurt. And if you let it, that hurt going to be going away. But then if somebody punch you in the face, you experience that pain and you're like, this is too much. I'm afraid this pain. So you constantly in the state of living your life, pre preparing for somebody going to punch you all the time. That's why we have anxiety, depression, all that kind of stuff, right? So then we're not present with what it is. So in that, it's going to go to point number four. And I want to check my notes just to make sure we're on the same page here. You know, I, it's, I wrote down right here is to embrace life, embrace you, embrace each moment for what it is, and to simply allow yourself to be humans. Allow yourself to fully be in this humans. Like, I'm going to take this drink right now. It's not as great as an hour ago when it's still warm and it is that I could sit and bitch about it and Or I can just simply be in it and that moment gonna pass. I can go put some hot water in so life is not about What happening to you or what happening in your life right now? I think life is more about how you react to what happening in your life to you and how you react to it is determined how peaceful and how happy you can be so in that my friend only you are in charge of your happiness nobody else and you already make this far in this life to this state of your life and you being a whole heart of my community you know that forcing pushing and try to control life chasing things outside of yourself is just not gonna work for your happiness it's give you that temporary satisfaction but then you constantly in the state of chasing what if we turn that ratio around? What if we turn around that we are, whatever the BS, the shit that you hold in your body right now, allow yourself to release it, to make space for you to be in the present moment, to really see life for what it is. When somebody punch you, sit with it and let it hurt for three minutes and be done. And then the rest of the time you get to enjoy life. You get to enjoy the space nobody punch you. You know, you get to enjoy the subtlety of light and you can truly be in gratitude for each moment because each moment is just so uniquely for what it is, my friend. The, the, whatever I'm saying right now, that's it. The next moment is not, it will never be the same again. This drink right here, that recipe may be there, but the way it tastes right now, the way the wind, the composition of the air and Hawaii air is going to taste so different the next time I have this drink. So only if you allow yourself to be in this moment, to be human, to really enjoy the subtlety of life for what it is, to enjoy the drink when it's so hot, so warm, it tastes nice. And when the drink is so cold, it still tastes nice. It's just different. Good or bad is the judgment we give it. What about we can just 
give it for what it is. This simply is a cold drink and it doesn't taste as great as an hour ago, but then it is that, right? And how I'm reacting to that, how you react to your moment determine your state of being. And I'm inviting you to be in that state of being is come from that place. Because when you're happy and then you can overflow that love in your business, in your life, in your loved one, and you can make the million dollar because you want to, not because you need, because you chase to, you can be in relationship because you choose to be in it, not because you desperately, desperately need for it, because you are filled within yourself. Yes, I, I get it. I understand it's easy said than done because the process is not an easy process to sit with your pain, to sit with your discomfort, to sit with your shadow. And if it feels too much, I would suggest to seek for help. Look for the right help. There's therapy out there. There are coaches out there. There's healer out there. There are people like me out there. That will be the exact right fit for you to be there for you to hold your heart and to let you move through those things. If that's the will, if that's a heart desire, that's the way. Only you can make that decision for yourself. My friend, thank you so much for being here and for sharing this unique moment with me and for letting me express my AM with you. It's really cool. I get to share this. And I hope that this video is going to enhance your happiness to a whole new level. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and set on notification and we'll let you know when the next video come out. And of course, as your authentic moment, if you feel you want to share this to some other heart that could use more happiness in their life, please share. All right, with that, I'm sending you a lot of love from my heart to yours and from Hawaii to wherever you are in the world. Until then, be happy and then I'll see you at the next AM.